Nerd Soul. Late LK at one to hold it down, bring that street geek and nerd soul. That's right. We are here with Slice of Sci-Fi and Travis Willingham. That's right. How you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. We are here. Superman Red Sun, you, you know feeling it? good? I'm feeling really good. Now Tell us a little bit about your character and how you put yourself into that character. Sure, so Superior Man is the American version of Superman who's over in the Soviet Union in this film. The problem with Superior Man is he's kind of missing that soul, right? He doesn't quite feel human. Well, I mean, not that Superman is human, but we can get into that later. Understood. Right, right. It's He is a, like a harsher, flatter version of what they're trying to copy out of this Soviet Union Superman. So harsher lines, harsher focus, um, doesn't really have any of that virtue that we're used to in that United States current timeline Superman. So they said like, you know, with the voice, they were like, make it sound like Superman, but just be harsh, be flat, be emotionless. And so that's what, kind of what we did. Um, and it was funny going up against Jason Isaacs because the man is an incredibly talented actor, but when he's doing that, when he's doing that Soviet accented Superman, I mean, you know, he's yeah. got the bass to make it shake, so it's really good. All right. Now switching gears a little bit, yeah. when it comes to uh, Superior Man, what about Superior Man mm. is so enjoyable to play? I think... In comparison to Superman, the thing that was fun is that he has no regard for life, it seems, mm. right? He attacks first. He brings the fight first. He yes. is not concerned with the citizens in the town. He's not concerned with collateral damage. He is sharp, calculating, cold. So <laughs> that was that was really fun to play. But also, once he starts fighting Superman, you, he has to take it to that level. He has to take it to that higher place. Um, and I think fans will be really happy with how it, how it plays out. Cool. Last question. Yeah. You also do the voice for a young man named Thor. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, a young Asgardian gentleman. <laughs> what advice does Thor have for Superman? Mm. Oh man, <laughs> now, now you got me thinking. You got me thinking. See, I, I, I tried. Uh huh, uh huh. Now, are we talking normal timeline Superman or are we talking Superman Red, Red Sun? Sun? Okay, Red okay. Sun. I would say he needs to get himself a hammer. Okay. Right? Get you can't, can't go anywhere with a hammer. I don't right. know if you need the sickle as well, but if you pick yourself up a hammer, maybe in a helmet, you got the red cape, then we can talk. All right. Well, thank you for coming through. Thank you, sir. And can't wait to hear your voice on the screen. Appreciate it.